In the early hours of January 9, 2018, a storm slammed the hillsides of Montecito, California, where firefighters had not yet fully contained the massive Thomas fire. Heavy rain pelted fire-scarred hillsides, triggering a devastating mudslide while most residents were still asleep. Mud, trees, and rocks crashed into homes as 1.2 million tons of sediment flowed through the hillsides, leaving 23 people dead and 170 injured. This historic disaster illustrates the devastating impact that fire flood cycles can have in California. As the world warms, these overlapping disasters are expected to happen more often. So what is the fire flood cycle? It starts with wildfires ripping through forest-covered hillsides, leaving behind dry and barren burn scars. If these areas are hit with a sudden burst of heavy rain, there's a high risk of dangerous flash floods and mudslides. Here's how these deadly debris flows form. It all starts with heavy rain. Flooding can begin after just a few minutes, but the risk is highest after an hour of high-intensity rain. Water runs off the slope quickly, picking up lighter soils like sand. As more water funnels down, flash floods can occur. The runoff forms channels in the hillside, carving out more sediment. Channels in gorge, eroding the hillside and carrying more sediment downhill. From here, the flood transforms into a more powerful and destructive debris flow. Boulders as big as cars and large trees are picked up. Eventually, the slurry reaches a valley, ravine, or river, carrying debris toward communities and endangering lives. Scientists warn that with each degree of global warming, these disasters could happen more often and in rapid succession, taking lives, threatening communities, and imperiling water supplies. For more weather science stories, go to sfchronicle.com.